Right. Ah, I was just uh, good to meet. It's a real honor to uh, meeting you here. It's uh, I'm a bit nervous uh, about it because I heard a lot about you and uh, we are doing a, a terrific job. Um, we're here together today uh, on a meeting in the in the Parliament building of, of uh, the Netherlands. Um, we've seen a couple of parliamentarians. How's your impression uh, on how the day went? Yeah, I think this is the beginning of the recognition. Um, yes, we know that from this building they decide for West Papua independence. Uh, six, uh, 55 years ago, but then coming back to here, this building again, and then see the all the parliamentarians sitting in front of um, the, everybody on the table. This means they give us confidence because yeah. we thought they said they forgotten us, yeah. you know, forgotten us so, so long, 50 years, and it's too long. Yeah. But then today, there's everybody in the room, and everybody could see four parliamentarians yeah. and sitting together talking about West Papua yeah. and about discuss about uh, about our history and this is very for West Papua a very important uh, first step of discuss about uh, New Guinea uh, Council in yeah. this building that's very important so basically uh, what you're saying it's uh, it has been uh, the next step where we uh, after such a long period that we made the first step and now we are here together together with Dutch parliamentarians Dutch politicians to make uh, further steps finally in uh, uh, in our view in our future yes um, I've been uh, asking a couple of questions about international uh, politics um, uh, how do you think the situation of the um, international politics uh, are and that uh, the Dutch politicians can uh, do a job on this level West Papua case is, is international uh, politics involved yeah. first first place yeah. because international politics uh, under the international law where they under the international community involved directly yeah. about uh, in West Papua case because West Papua is not only happen like that but international community involved it's world politics international politics involved to to victimize the Papuan right to self determination so that's why. Even in that talking about uh, the global international um, you know, politics, but at the same time, West Papua is a global politics because yeah. this is about talking about international um, law and about the right to self-determination uh, for for whole world. So in the West Papua case is it, the that's already um, you know the hiding under the carpet. I think now time our father to speak out about injustice yeah. in for West Papuan people. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, what the what the politicians can do to speak out on an international uh, political level to spread uh, the message for freedom of uh, of West Papua. Uh, yeah? Yes, I think the Dutch now. I think from the, this building they can start speaking, talking about West Papua in here, yeah. and then. Next step is the European Parliament. All right, they so have it's to in steps. Uh, yeah, step. Yeah. European Parliament, and from there, because they, the, we are former colony, yeah. so it's the case of East Timor. Yeah. Uh, Portugal raised this issue in, in within in their own parliament, and then in the European Parliament. Yeah. And the next step is the UN. So All that's right. why West Papua is, we are still colony, so that's obligation to raise this issue in the, this parliament, this building, and then next step in the European Parliament, right. from there to 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 United Nations, because this is that that's obligation yeah. as well as that unfinished business. So yeah. that's why coming back to the father to question then what do you promise? The promise unfinished. Yeah. So that's why this is coming back to. So what you're saying is we we start with the. Uh, with our, well, like you said before today, we start with our father, the, the one that yes. where the obligation, yes. the connection is already made yes. in history. Yes. And uh, the political system is more like a step system. Yes. First you step on, on every, the local yes. level, regional yes. level, continental and then worldwide. Yes. Yes. Um, can, maybe I can uh, draw the conversation a little bit about what can the individual Dutchman uh, do, do uh, uh, for the freedom of West Papua? I think Dutch new generation it's the same what happened. Mm -hmm. The history, Dutch history never tell their own colony around yeah. the world. Yeah. That's why the Dutch new generation, they don't know about West Papua. Same thing what Indonesia is doing in West Papua. Yeah. The, our new generation, we never learn how the uh, Indonesia liberate West Papua. Yeah. How the Dutch, uh, how Indonesia take over from, because there is no telling the truth. Yeah. 
we go to the library, we never found our history. That's why same thing happened. This is the cover up everything. That's why I hope that the new generation, that new generation, time to wake up to support West Papua. This right. is like um, this is this is time for Dutch people to stood up and to solidarity with West Papua. Yeah, I can tell you uh, from living, being raised here, there are a lot of young people in my generation. Uh, also, all kind of cultures, they are waking up and they are Thank being you. awake of the international politics and how everybody is actually being deceived and that the things are, the awareness is changing right now. But I think Papua and uh, indigenous culture can play a role in that. Like, how can we give the knowledge of the spiritual world, of the being, living together with family, uh, nature and animals? How can we get that across to give that as a present to the Western society? 15,000 years ago, West Papua lived with the nature, yeah. lived with the mountain, yeah. lived with the sea, lived with the forest, so we already. Yeah. But somebody else came to our land and destroyed yeah. our culture, our identity, our forest, our mountain. Yeah. Collaborate with the criminals. Yeah. It's I call criminals because Indonesia invaded illegally in West Papua and then the backing by Indonesian military, cutting our trees, cutting destroy our mountain. That's why it's very important people who are out there love the culture, love the, the identity, love the who they are, please support. Because our fight is not only political independent, but our our fight for free is free for our, our nature, our animal, our bird of paradise, our tree kangaroos, our mountain, our forest. Because we are really connected. We feel forest is our supermarket. The land is our mother. That's yeah. why it's very important for us. But when Indonesia came over and then colonized us, destroyed yeah. our belief. Yeah. I think time for new generation, uh, that new generation, please stood up and support this. It's okay, maybe we can close the interview with a it's the, the quote was return of the natural order. A good relationship with our father, with our mother and our brothers and sisters. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.